Move the chains. Welcome to the end zone. Let's move the chains. Talk Patriots, talk Julio Jones, and talk the future. A little bit of Foxborough action going on today. So first, Julio Jones and the Patriots. It looks like they've got some mutual interest in each other. So Julio, apparently he wants to play with Cam Newton. And now the New England Patriots are having internal conversations about getting this trade done to bring Julio Jones, one of the best wide receivers in the National Football League, into Foxborough, into New England, to be a New England Patriot, which just huge news. So I want to talk about the Patriots real quick. A lot of people down on the Patriots, especially after last year. And look, I see. I think a lot of people expected them to have a down year. And everyone wants to, to point out a winner in this divorce. It, it's either Tom Brady or it's New England. But why can't it not be both here? Okay, listen. You could say after year one, just looking at it with one year, yes, it's obvious that Tom Brady is the winner because the Patriots didn't make it to the playoffs for the first time, it seems like, forever. But in a COVID year where the Patriots had the most players opt out due to COVID-19, and they lost arguably one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time, you'd expect them to have a major step back, okay? But they were still competing. Like, they weren't a bad team last year. Like, people, some people may want to make it out to be. They were competitive. And they could have, you know, possibly made the playoffs. I, I, I would say they would have made the playoffs if all their players were playing. Cam Newton was healthy, didn't get COVID. We'd probably see a different outcome, okay? I don't want to say definitely, but I would say probably. And here's what I'll say about Cam Newton. Yeah, he's not the greatest quarterback in the NFL. He's not where he was, you know, early in his career with the Carolina Panthers when people thought that he could be, you know, one of the greatest of all time until he got to that Super Bowl, at least. Cam Newton may not have the strongest arm, and he may not be the same after his injuries, but he's still a pretty good quarterback. He struggled a lot last year after he got COVID, like he wasn't the same. And he said that multiple times. They said that Cam Newton just wasn't himself after getting COVID. And hey, that makes sense. That happens, you know, when you get the disease and you feel sick, you may not play to your top level. And I understand that. So here's what I'll say about Cam Newton. I think that he's a solid quarterback. A lot of people are overreacting on Twitter. Imagine that, that Cam Newton cannot pass the ball to Julio Jones. I don't want to hear that. Julio Jones and Cam Newton, Julio Jones and really anyone, any capable quarterback, at least in the National Football League, would make a great connection. Yes, they're not going to be able to perfect the deep ball like they were in Atlanta with Matt Ryan. Cam Newton's just not going to be able to do that. But Cam Newton could still get the ball out to Julio Jones, short to medium range, and Julio Jones still, he's going to do his thing. He's one of the best in the game for a reason. In the red zone, he's electric, and he's still going to break away for these deep balls that Cam Newton is probably going to hit him. And, and guess what? If I'm wrong about Cam Newton, if I'm wrong about Cam Newton at least being capable to get the ball out to Julio Jones, then you got Mac Jones, the Jones to Jones connection, the Bama Crimson Tide. I think the chemistry could be there. That's a generalization. I don't want to say that it would be. But Mac Jones is a player who was asked just to be the guy who can deliver the football to open wide receivers in the Alabama offense. Who's to say he couldn't do it again with the New England Patriots with Julio Jones now? And the wide receivers around Julio Jones, I mean, got Jacoby Myers, Nikhil Harry, Nelson Aguilar, Kendrick Bourne, a couple guys. At tight end, I really like the tight ends, Hunter Henry and Johnny Smith. We should see a better offense from the New England Patriots, regardless of getting Julio Jones than last year. So my question to you is, what do you think the Patriots could do if they get Julio Jones? What do you think the outcome would be for the Patriots season? I say that they would make the playoffs. Heck, they could even possibly make a run. Don't count out the Patriots for the future. I think that the Patriots are just fine. I don't want people around the NFL to overreact about the Patriots after losing the greatest quarterback of all time. I think that they're just going to be fine. 
They're going to be the Patriots that a lot of people know and hate, and they're going to be winning again. I'd love to know your thoughts down below. Thanks for watching The End Zone. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment so we can move the chains.